Hey, welcome to my next tutorial. This one is Little Red Riding Hood in my year of stories. Other than a camera, the other stuff that I used was my remote on a two second release, a bunch of makeup, which I probably shouldn't have dropped because it smashed, and a old bed sheet. This is my setup in my living room. I've just got a plain backdrop and a big window behind me with my camera on a tripod. I had the remote on a two second release, a sheet over my head, and I probably took about 20 pictures before I got one with uh, an expression that I was happy with. Into Photoshop, I'm using CS6 if anyone's interested. I didn't see the need yet to upgrade to CC. Um, when the tools change significantly enough, I'll, I'll upgrade, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the CS6. So, although I originally took a portrait crop, um, I decided afterwards that I wanted it landscape because I got the idea to put some wolf eyes in the background. I'm starting off here by using frequency separation um, for the skin retouching. I don't use this technique very often but I really wanted quite a smooth skin look because it's quite a close-up shot, much closer than the uh, Snow White one I did in my last video. Um, there's plenty of tutorials about this on YouTube. Um, I might start adding small, quick tutorials just for the things that I use in my retouching. Um, I might add that at some point in the future, but there's, there's lots on YouTube. In fact, I'll link a really good one down below from Flurn. Um, that's the sort of technique that I use. Just liquefy, just getting a nicer shape to the hood. And pulling in that bulge on the one side so I don't look like a giant Quasimodo. And I'm not very good at putting on lipstick so I fix that in post to make it nice and neat around the edges. Just want to clean up that little bit so it looks like a shoulder rather than um, just a big blob because it wasn't a cape. I went out looking for some inspiration to charity shops to find out um, something I could wear or some nice fabric that I could fashion a hood out of and I had a really disappointing trip. I came back um, disappointed and decided to use an old red bed sheet. This is a free brush that I downloaded, I um, can't remember where it's from but I will put the name up on the screen and put the link down in the description box below. I'm sure you can change the size and angle of the brush so that you can just click them in place, but I prefer to put them each on a layer and then just warp them to the shape of the eye. It might take a bit longer, but you get, I think, probably a better result. Again, as usual, I'm just brightening the eyes, make them stand out. Now I'm onto the dodge and burn phase. I do this in all my images because I just like the look of it. Um, you can go really over the top with it if you want to, or you can just really enhance the highlights on the face. One layer I dodge all the highlights, and the other layer I just burn all the shadows. You want to do it in the areas where you naturally see a little bit of light and shadow, and you might think it's quite flat lighting at first, but the more you look at your images and the more you practice it, you'll see those subtle changes um, in the skin. And also if you want to enhance something, like I don't have those cheekbones, but you can always um, enhance that a little bit with your dodge and burn. Here I took a tea break and forgot to press record when I came back. Basically, I was using the apply image technique to change the colour of the shadows and the highlights. Um, I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a vintage feel um, and I'm just adding a bit of a vignette around the edges as well. I like to add noise to an image once I feel like it's getting there, like it, it looks like a, you know, a bit more realistic if you like. Um, I like to add some noise over the top of everything, I just feel like it brings the image together a little bit. And I like grain and I like noise, um, I don't think you should be scared of it, a lot of people are. I like it. Here I'm just uh, whizzing out some of the creases in the sheet because I don't do ironing. And this picture was from Pexels, um, I'll put a link 
to the photographer and this image in the description box down below and that's how I achieved this look it was much simpler and much quicker than um, last month's video I didn't think it was gonna work and in fact I pretty much hated this all the way through till the last couple of minutes of the edit and then I realized actually I do like it if you're not happy with an image keep trying you might just find that it does start to come together if not I've left images before and come back to them the next day and suddenly fell in love with them and changed the way I originally thought I was going to edit it and it's worked out great as always please follow me on social media like and subscribe it really helps the channel grow I hope you enjoyed this video I'm really looking forward to next month's thanks bye